for this year's Beyond and Above winner. Please help me welcome to the stage Maurice Wallace, Behavior Coach at the Broken Arrow Freshman Academy. Dan Hawk here with AeroVision. I'm here with Beyond and Above winner Maurice Wallace. How was this night for you? I know that it was a whirlwind of a night, hearing everybody, finding out where you'd stand, yeah. but what does it mean to you to walk away with this? I just It just means a lot, not only to me, but to BAFA. Um, I think uh, there's a, a perception of BAFA out there with a lot of people, and I don't think they understand what we're trying to do for the district, and it starts with BAFA. So I think for me, I think it's, this award means a lot to BAFA, and if we can just continue to put that positive energy out there for BAFA, then we'll We'll be all right. When I walked through and did the story with you, learning that your smile is contagious, but it's getting across to the kids. Tell me about how important that is as to why you got in the education. Well, every day, one thing I can always say, there's always, we never go through what kids are going through today. Um, what, what kids are going through today, I think that what we have to understand is uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what we're going through, it matters what, what, they're, what they're going through. Um, connecting, engaging with kids every day, impacting kids every day. But I think that um, what thing that we can do as teachers, as educators, as support staff, is just to make sure that we, we walk in with a smile on our face every day because that kid needs that smile. These kids today are going through a lot more than what we went through as kids. And I think if I do that and, and love every day and love to come to work every day, it, it's, it's a positive for the kids. The lesson that I learned tonight is it's more than just a teacher. It's more yeah. than the secondary individual helping with a student. Tell me about what that means to you to make that impact on a child. Well, obviously teachers are teaching my kids. I, I think that if, if, if I have that impact with them, then they can take that on to the future. I mean, I've seen, you know, I have Miss Otten in there, who's who I've known since I was in fourth grade. Miss Green, who says, who's an assistant principal, she's my science teacher when I was in sixth grade. Obviously, Mr. Rice, who's our principal, uh, Miss Silva, Miss Officer, who hired me. I think those are the key, those those people right there. As long as we as long as we have those type of people impacting those type of kids every day, they'll be able to come back and do the things that we're doing, not only as teachers, but but it supports that. But what does this honor mean to you oh, this evening? This is the top. Uh, I don't think I think a lot of people understand. If, if you know me from whenever I was younger, I think this is where this is where it's at right here. I mean, football is football. Uh, winning winning championships is winning championships. But being recognized in the academic world is is it's, uh, is major. We always say in our locker room and the coach's office that we're, we're teachers first before we're coaches. 